Hobart and William Smith College's theater department presents Supernatural Saunter, The Spirits of William Smith. The Man by the Lake. I was a kind of young, stupid kid. Kind of like every kid, except I might have caught it worse. I was into magic. Mary? What? Don't come in. Can I borrow another book? Another book? You're still on this? I need to know as many spells as possible if I'm going to pass this exam. Don't insult me, John. They aren't spells. They're much darker than that. In fact, <laughs> you might die if you read them. Well then, let's see. Well, what I was interested in wasn't really magic. It was more like the occult. Have you ever seen any spirits or apparitions? Not that I know of. Wow, look, the lake. Have you ever been part of a seance or other summoning ritual? My sister pulled out a Ouija board once, but I kind of got scared of it, so. Have you experienced any hauntings? Um, no, oh, I once had a closet door open in the middle of the night. And? That's all that happened. I'm assuming you don't know what specialty you would go into either. So you aren't a legacy, you have no references, and don't know anything. Young man, may I ask how you discovered the school? Why do you want to join? I... Well, I want... I think I knew why. But the words wouldn't come. Long story short... <laughs> Even managed to fail at something fake. You were the one who told me the rumors. You know they aren't fake. You know! <laughs> I've never heard of something so silly in my life. Oh dear, what must Father think? <laughs> well, I do think we already know. That his daughter is a witch, I hope. I wanted this, you know. You of all people should understand the adventure, the opportunities, the heroism. My, my, this is unpleasant, isn't it? Father! You put the idea in my head to unstick the dead. If you could have helped me, I would have gotten it. I can certainly help you pack, little brother. If it were me they decided to send to college, I never would have failed. But of course, little brother is the one they put their faith in. Failure after failure. It's a wonder they haven't put you out sooner. I'm not a failure. You can't keep saying that. I'm not... I've done... I've done... <laughs> what? Can't you spit it out? Don't you have the guts? Then leave. Get out. I never did have a way with words. Without a home, I decided to try my hand at war. Seems I didn't have a way with that either. I found myself back at the school that rejected me. I watched the bright blue lake ahead of me through every season waiting for the Seneca to consume the land. But as the vibrant greens and browns gave way to the vibrant blue, something else began to consume it instead. Smoke, gasoline, and unbearable horns digging, drilling. It was progress. Many years have passed and it is now 2008. They were trying to move forward without me. But I would not go. I could not. Let them go. And then he was like, Have you seen any spirits? And all I had to say was, no. That's what, like the fourth one in a, in a row? Ah, well, then I kind of got off topic, like, Jesus, what a lake, huh? And I started talking about that, and I had to apologize. So, naturally, he's getting annoyed. And then he just starts talking about being part of seances and specialities. And I give him a few more no's. So, obviously, he was like, Thank you, Carter, but I do believe we're done here. But somehow, I still got in. I enjoyed very little about being a spirit. But if there was one thing I hated the most, this would be it. The rookies. <laughs> Whoa, really? That's crazy. My parents had to pay good money to even get me close to the school, and I have, like, two abilities. Wow. I didn't even know those were a thing until the interview. 
Well, that's definitely unique. Thanks. Uh, Adrian, do you think they see something in me? Maybe. I'm kind of naturally gifted, though, so I don't really know what they're looking for. Hold on, let's take a picture on the benches. Maybe we'll catch John in the background. John? You don't know? Oh, that's right. All right, so you see the split in that tree over there? That big one kind of close to the crosswalk? Yeah, I think so. Someone, like, illegally tried to cut it down last year, but something spooked them so badly that I'm pretty sure they had a whole breakdown or something. All John did was whisper, but wasn't one of us, though. Obviously. Holy crap. Have you seen him? Well, I have seen other spirits, like, really, really cool ones. You want to hear about them? Ooh, or I could tell you about the time I was training to be a Haruspex. Uh, Haruspex. Just how much am I missing here? Mm, not too much. Hmm. Why do you think he's here? Or where do you think he is? I don't know. I'm not his babysitter. I just know what I'm told. That he's always watching. But he's harmless, right? He's not actually hurting people. <laughs> no. They definitely would have been focusing more attention on getting rid of him if he was, like, lethal. He's got more of a get-off-my-lawn thing going on, you know? Oh. Well, that's cool, I guess. Why do you sound disappointed? Guess I was expecting something cool. Not that I think a harmful spirit is cool, but it would be cool to see one and to free one. <laughs> you just got here. I mean, I did some cool stuff my first week, but it's not like most people do. Plus, I'm, like, retired. Want to grab dinner? Uh, no. I'm all right. I just want to enjoy the view for a moment. Yeah, whatever you want. Actually, you stay right here. I have a really, really fun idea. Yeah? Sure. That's cool. Uh, but as long as it's nothing illegal or breaks the school rules, because uh, that would not be cool. Oh, of course. We would never, ever want to break policy. Gotcha. Uh, wait, wait. I was... Bye! Serious. Huh. I guess I'll sit on one of these possibly haunted benches. <clears throat> Mr. John? Are you there? I I'm new here. And it would be kind of nice to know what I'm dealing with, or that I haven't made a mistake. No, no. Uh, if you're stuck, I want to help you. I have a book here. Maybe you could write in it or something? Wait a minute, I think this is my history notebook. Uh, don't write in that. Uh, math? Yeah, you can scribble all over this one. Okay, I'm now holding a pen. Huzzah! Huh. Nothing. Maybe I'm just not cut out for this. Uh, no. No, 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 no. That's not true. I'm just doing my best. Alright. You're not going to give me anything. That's cool. I I'll, j I'll just leave. Hey, Carter! Just the living being I was looking for. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you said to stay here. What's going on? You wanted to see something cool, right? So, we'll get John a little riled up, and then boom, there you go, something cool. Uh, I, I don't know about that, uh... Well, what, what's he gonna do about it? Whisper in my ear? Okay, fine, fine, all right, we'll start the respectful way. Carter, take this flashlight. I think you at least know what to do with this, right? Yeah, I'll put it in the middle, and turn it on. Hey, this isn't so bad. All right, spirits. We're here to help. If you're here, turn off the flashlight. Hello? Jeez, this is boring. If you don't respond, we both have lighters and a bunch of- Oops! That. <coughs> what just <coughs> happened? <coughs> I can barely see. <laughs> it's fun, right? <coughs> <coughs> Whoa, the flashlight. I, I think it's floating. John? John, is that you? Who else would it be? Show us something cool. He just... dropped it. Oh, come on. Is that your idea of cool? What a failure of a... Uh, Adrian? Adrian. Ah! It, it's him! I'm out of here! Leave this place at once! I am so sorry. We didn't mean to disturb you. 
You'd better run along if you know what's good for you. <laughs> right. I'll just be going now. Uh, no, no, wait a minute. I still want to talk. Talk? Is bothering people how you usually start conversations? Uh, well, I definitely didn't mean to. What's wrong with this school? It's my first year here, so I don't know. Yes, a rookie. Well, there's a prime viewing spot at the bottom of the lake if you want to find out. Wait, I thought you'd be old, but you look almost my age. Did you go here? Did I attend the Vale? Ha! They were too good for me. I mean, I was too good for them. Unlike you and your scummy friend there. Uh, I I'm really sorry, but I didn't expect her to do that. I just want to talk, I swear. <laughs> Is that all? If you're here to convince me to leave these benches, you better scram. I don't plan on moving. No. All I want is to know more about you. Things like why you terrorize mundane people. Like, well, like me. Good God, you won't leave, will you? You're really determined. Well, I guess I have no right to make you. You belong here. I'm just stubborn. Well, I wouldn't say I belong here. It's where I came and felt belonging, so I'm going to make sure I do. Eventually. Is that why you're still here? I suppose. Not that I ever will. Hey, don't, don't, don't do that. You, you could, if that's what you want. Your abilities as a spirit, uh, you could use them in another way, like... What do you mean? You could be like a guardian of these benches. A guardian? I'm not so sure It would that be I'm... great. We could create a plaque about you, maybe even a statue. Oh, I can't wait to tell my parents. You may be that... getting ahead of yourself here. Oh, they'll be so... Oh. <laughs> yeah, you're right. How about we work on that then? You wouldn't have me leave? No, of course not. Huh. Well, I guess I can live with that. Supernatural Saunter, The Spirits of William Smith, is produced by Hobart and William Smith College's Theatre Department. The Man by the Lake was written by Emmanuel Castillo-Gonzalez and Christina Rock. Featuring Anthony Bray as John, the narrator, Gabriela Rosa as Mary, Troy Tedeschi as interviewer, James Sarver as Carter, and Alex Kopkak as Adrian. Directed by Chris Woodworth. Music by Ed Hallberg. Sound design by Kelly Walker, with assistance from Kyle Mast and Kels Veter. Delve deeper into the mysteries of Geneva's College of the Vale at supernaturalsaunter.com. for listening.